All right, guys. So real quick before I get into the actual video, I just want to say thank you for all the followers that uh, that you guys basically did for me on Twitch. So like I said, I wanted to go ahead and do two deck giveaways. So um, the first deck is going to go to G Money four 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 B, and then the second is going to be for TMR Gaming. So I'm going to go ahead and get in contact with you guys, or you guys can comment down below, and I'll find you. Um, but anyways, guys, congratulations on the decks. Anyways, here is the actual trick. All right, so basically you can start this one off by showing your spectators a deck of cards. You go ahead, you can mix it up a little bit like this. And what you're going to do is have them say stop wherever they want, flip the cards over wherever they said stop, and you're gonna tell them that you're going to come to the first face down card that you get to. In this case, let's go to flip it over, and I'm gonna tell you guys right now, it's going to be an ace, right? So you flip that over, the ace goes here, you tell your spectators that you are going to now find the other three aces throughout the deck, right? So you go ahead, you can snap your fingers like this, show your spectators that another ace will actually reveal itself to us from the middle of the deck. And at this point, what you can do is you can have your spectators take a deck of cards and have them do the rest of the trick, essentially. So you can tell them, all right, go ahead, you know, close your eyes, uh, do whatever you have to do, but don't look at the deck. All I want you to do is take around half the cards, cut them, but flip the bottom so you cut them like this, and then you can square it up. So let's say the spectator were to do that. They close their eyes, they put it underneath the table, whatever they want to do. They take half the deck from the top, move it to the bottom. You go ahead, you snap your fingers, and you tell them, all right, so considering the cards are going to be face uh, to face in the middle of the deck, what you're going to do is say, look, we spread the cards. You cut the cards wherever you wanted to. There's obviously two halves to the deck. Two cards are face to face. The two most face to face cards are going to be the last two aces, just like that. So this is a pretty simple and uh, super easy four ace production. So um, in the future, I'm gonna be doing a more advanced uh, production for this one. I just wanna make it for the beginners out there. So this one is super simple. Hope you guys like it. And if you wanna learn how to do it, do not forget, uh, forget to stick around for the tutorial. All right, so uh, the good part is, um, it, like I said before in the performance, it really is not difficult whatsoever. Um, and the, the setup isn't too bad. So, you know, if you saw the performance, obviously you guys can see um, this could not be done impromptu, but it's it's not bad at all. So what you want to do is go ahead, the startup or the setup takes like this. You go ahead and take an ace, put that on top of the deck. You take two random cards from the middle of the deck, whatever they are, put those on top, and then you can sandwich that just like this. You have a face-up ace, two face-up cards, and then a face-down ace, and that goes on top. And then on the bottom, you just put these two aces face-to-face, -face, put those on the bottom. So what it looks like, it's just like this. So here's the setup. You have one ace on the very bottom of the deck, and you have these cards right there. So that's your setup. And then uh, from here, all you have to do is go ahead and you're gonna block push the top cards so that way the these cards aren't shown. So essentially, you just go ahead, you grab a whole bunch of cards with your right thumb, just like that, and then you push over these cards a little bit. And just don't go spreading all over the bottom, but essentially, you wanna show them that it is a regular deck, right? You square it back up, and then I'll leave a link to my swivel cut. All I'm going to do is swivel cut the cards, and this is going to make it look like you're mixing up the deck. But in reality, you're not, and you're also showing, it looks like you're showing a whole bunch of cards. So it just looks like a uh, normal deck. You don't really flash anything. And then from here, what you want to do is tell the spectators to go ahead and say stop, you know, wherever they want, right? So they go ahead, they say stop here, for example, wherever it happens to be. Um, to the spectator, it looks like the cards are back-to-back, -back, right? But when you spread the cards... You have a chance of flashing that second face up ace. So all you want to do is spread the cards uh, not too quickly. You say, all right, let's come to the first face down card that we come to because the cards are back to back, right? So you reinforce that whole notion that the cards are back to back. But in reality, you're flashing that ace if you go too far. So you say, all right, so let's go ahead and flip this card over. You tell them, all right, I can guarantee you it's going to be an ace, right? So you flip this over. You make it look super casual. So all right, so let's see if we can't find the other three aces. And all you want to do is just put the rest of the cards right back on top. And now what you have is an ace in uh, the middle of the deck and an ace on the bottom. So what you could do before you actually uh, reveal the card in the middle is you could go ahead and spread the cards here and then uh, block push the middle. So essentially, so, all right, so we're looking for one more ace, right? And you go and you block push the middle, and that is going to hide that middle ace in the middle, right? So you don't want to flash it, but you know, I could have done this in performance, but I just kind of realized that you could have done a little move right there where you block push the middle, hide that card that goes in the middle, and then what you do is you snap your fingers, okay? And uh, if you're leaving the deck on uh, the table as right before you spread it, so let's say you're, you're a person that leaves a, uh, the deck cards on the table, 
and then you go to pick it up to ribbon spread it. Just be careful you don't actually leave that bottom card because since it is face up, when you grab the deck, it's going to be very, um, it has a tendency to, to lay on the table. So that's just like a little tip, but essentially, you spread the cards, right? Now, when you spread the cards, you still have that card at the very back. So you want to make sure that you leave a little bit of room or a little bit of leeway on top of those cards. That way, uh, you don't end up flashing it. So from here, you pick up that ace that goes in the middle. You square up the rest of the deck. Be careful not to flash that ace that is in the back. And then uh, from here, it is probably this is probably the most easiest part of the entire trick because the spectator essentially does the rest um, of the trick. So you want to make sure um, that you explain to them because, like I said, whenever you do a trick where the spectator ends up handling the cards, but you want them to do something very specific, sometimes they can mess that up. So you want to make sure you explain to them all they're doing is cutting the cards and placing them face down like this. So it's probably easier. You take the cards, explain to them, flip the deck, put the rest of it on top. But you want to tell them to do this with their eyes closed or behind their back or like under a table or something because, okay, so here's what it looks like, right? If they were to do this and you take the cards from the top and you flip them over, here's the four of hearts, right? You flip that over, you square it up. And if they were looking at it, the moment you were to open this deck up to say, all right, let's look at the two cards that are now face to face. The moment you spread that, you guys can see that here's the four of hearts they saw before, but here's the ace of hearts that they didn't, or the ace of diamonds that they didn't see. So that's why uh, in the performance, I ended up flipping the entire deck after I did the movement. But if their eyes are closed, for example, if their eyes are closed, they're not going to know which card this one is because their eyes are closed. They can't see it. They square up the deck. Okay. And then from this, you say, all right, let's go to the face to face cards right here in the middle of the deck. And it looks like the two black aces ended up finding each other so that is the trick hope you guys all like it thank you for subscribing to me on twitch um, i might do more live streams on youtube um, just depending uh, just depending on how the audience goes on twitch if not then i'll just come back but uh, like i said guys this is the video thank you guys for watching and uh, do not forget to subscribe